I was thinking bomb or something crazy like that. So we, we just have no idea. We're just so blessed that this house was empty. Bertha Boyd lives behind the house that exploded in the 7400 block of Remore Road. Her home had little damage. Still, she had to see what happened on this street. At least 13 people have been displaced because of the blast. It turned Francis Birchie's home upside down. We thank God. We thank God for because if it had happened 20 minutes later, something bad would have happened because three of us were on our way home. And then uh, especially my granddaughter, she gets here at 2.30. Around 2.13 Tuesday afternoon, this house, which was vacant and for sale, exploded. That explosion ignited this home on fire and severely damaged Francis Birchie's home. The blast ruined at least two cars. Residents across the street from the blast are now dealing with cracked foundations and other damage to their homes. William Carabaris says his company has helped secure about eight homes. A lot of these homeowners have busted windows, holes in the roof. Uh, damaged foundations, debris all over their property. Uh, we advise them to call the insurance company and we assist them boarding up their places, tarping the roofs, securing the doors. Now many of those houses that had the cracked foundations and the you know the windows that were busted out are on the other side of where the ex exploded house is. So here's the exploded house. So you've got these houses I'm looking at in front of me, one, two, three, four, five, who have all kinds of problems, so those folks can't stay there tonight. They've fenced in this area because investigators still have to go through that and um, see what's going on there. BGE is back out here again tonight as a precaution, making sure that the gas to this house next to the exploded house is cut off and the gas on the other side of the exploded house that caught fire, that the gas is cut off there. Reporting live at Woodlawn, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.